Welcome to Tea Time Oddities, the podcast where we explore the strange and the unusual throughout history. I'm your host, Danielle, and today we'll be discussing the origins of the jack-o'-lantern. So pop the kettle on and grab a warm cup of tea, and let's get started. Welcome! I'm so excited. Okay, this is the first episode of the podcast, Tea Time Oddities. I am Danielle, as I just mentioned. I have been wanting to start a podcast for a long time, and I'm so excited to finally be doing it. I want this podcast to be kind of fun, but also spooky and weird, and I'm not really sure the direction I'm going with it for now, but just anticipate me talking about weird things, odd things, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I named the podcast Tea Time Oddities because I love tea, I love talking about weird things, and I thought those two go together because listening to a podcast and drinking a cup of tea is, like, the best thing in the world, so. (laughs) The name is also perfect because I wanted it to be a shorter podcast, so 15 to 20 minute episodes, long enough for you to finish your tea in the morning, or if you're like me, your tea any time of the day. (laughs) I am actually drinking a black decaf tea at the time of recording this because it is six o'clock at night and as much as I'd like to have fully caffeinated tea, I don't think that's the best idea. All right, I think that covers all the things I wanted to go over before I started, so without further ado, let's get into it. Halloween, or All Hallows' Eve, is one of my personal favorite holidays. I just love autumn in general so it's a great time of year the leaves are changing the weather's getting cooler then add spooky stuff to it as i mentioned before i love weird creepy things so it's just kind of all my favorite things wrapped into one but it hasn't always been about little kids running around in costumes eating bags full of sugary candy halloween actually originated from the holiday of sam hain which in my research, I actually found out it's pronounced Samhain, which for the sake of the podcast, I'm going to say Samhain just because I think that's what most people would know it as. This pretty much was just a celebration of the end of summer or the beginning of autumn by pagan Celts in Ireland. And these Celts believed that on this day, when the weather was transitioning, the veil between the living and the dead was thinnest. This made it easier for people to communicate with the dead, gain a view into the future, or this even allowed the dead to walk amongst the living. Costumes can also be traced back to this holiday, Samhain, because the Celts believed that by wearing disguises, they could hide their identities from the spirits that wandered the earth. However, our focus is not so much on Halloween as it is the jack-o'-lantern. The tradition behind carving up a pumpkin can be traced back to, yet again, the Celts in Ireland. The myth begins with a man named Jack, better known as Stingy Jack, which you will see why in a moment, who invites the devil to grab a drink with him. The devil agrees, and they go and drink, and once Jack's done drinking, he decides he doesn't feel like paying for the drinks. He asks the devil to pay for it, but the devil does not have any money, but Jack has an idea. Jack mentions that the devil could just transform into a coin and then revert back once they're done. So the devil transforms. Jack grabs the coin and places it in his pocket, right next to his silver cross. This renders the devil unable to transform back. Jack decides to strike a deal with him, that in return for the devil's release, the devil will not bother Jack for a year or take Jack's soul to hell once he dies. Then, a year later, Jack meets the devil again. This time, Jack tricks the devil into climbing up a fruit tree. Jack carves a cross into the bark of the tree and won't let the devil down until he promises not to bother Jack for 10 more years. Well, when Jack finally does die, he's not allowed into heaven because of all of his dealings with the devil. So he decides to go down to hell and ask the devil to take his soul. But the devil did not appreciate all the stuff Jack had done to him and tells him he's not allowed into hell either. But the devil being the great guy he is, sends Jack away with one single burning coal. Jack went away and carved out a turnip to house the coal. This lantern became the only thing that allowed him to see as he wandered the earthly plain. Jack's story became very popular amongst people in Ireland and Scotland, 
and many people referred to him as Jack of Lantern or Jack o' Lantern. Now, that's where the story of Jack or Stingy Jack ends, but that's not where our story ends. As this story became more and more popular, many people wanted to carve a lantern like the one in Jack's story. Oftentimes, people would use potatoes, turnips, or beets. I highly recommend that you look up a picture of a jack-o'-lantern turnip because it's honestly kind of horrifying. Once people came to America, the pumpkin was the most abundant fruit and became the ideal jack-o'-lantern. On a side note, I did not know that pumpkins were fruits and that for some reason was just very odd to me. (laughs) However, carving pumpkins is not just a tradition like nowadays, it served a purpose. On October 31st, when the spirit realm was able to roam the earth, many people feared running into the spirit of Stingy Jack. To scare Jack's spirit off, people would carve faces into fruits or vegetables. So there you have it. That is how the jack-o'-lantern came to be. I am really glad that I chose this to be the first episode because it is something just really weird and really interesting at the same time. And I hope that you found it interesting too. So that is the end of the first episode. I wanted to mention that I did make an Instagram account that is at Tea Time Oddities. If you would like to follow, feel free. I'm going to post pictures and stuff that will kind of go along with the episodes. I would like to give a huge thank you to Tasting History on YouTube because his video about pumpkin cheesecake was actually the one that got me interested in this topic. I will link his video down below along with all my other sources. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tea Time Oddities. Make sure to keep the kettle on and check in next month for another episode. Goodbye!